Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Steve. And uh, we're really excited that Northhouse.org asked us to share our project through these videos in their uh, wooden boat show. So we're going to give you a quick walkthrough of what we're doing here. Essentially, in a nutshell, Alex and I are building a 38-foot wooden sailboat. We started from scratch, we're cutting down the trees, milling all the lumber, and building a boathouse the whole nine yards. Uh, so Alex has been the one predominantly filming and doing the videos, and I've been doing most of the build, and let's go check it out. So I'm going to hop back behind the camera, and we're going to give you guys a quick walkthrough and let you know what we're doing. The build's taking place here in Granby, Massachusetts. Uh, I'm fifth generation on this piece of property. So you got the hay field back here. My family's got 50 acres. Uh, that's where most of the timber came from for the projects. We harvested all the oak and the pine right here. Behind me, you can see this tarp, and underneath that is a bunch of spruce that my great-grandfather planted in the front yard here. Uh, there's a few more that he had planted that are still standing. At the beginning of the project, we climbed that tree and limbed it and topped it and took that down for the mast. We've got a big cedar rack here with a bunch of cedar that we harvested locally, and obviously the boathouse behind us that you can see. So we collected all the timber locally, which we're really proud of, and we built the boathouse and harvested all that wood. And inside that boathouse is where the real magic happens, so let's go check that out. Arabella is an Akin Ingrid, so it's a bent frame boat. And these are the molds that we use to bend the frames around. And like we mentioned, this is a running YouTube video series. So we've chronicled everything from cutting the trees, milling the lumber, pouring the ballast keel, all the way up to where we are now, which is the planking. Uh, we put out new videos every Friday morning, free on YouTube. Uh, so if you're interested in any of this journey, there's over a hundred videos that you can go and binge watch. Before we go in the boathouse, let's check this rig out. Uh, so when we started, we didn't have much in the ways of big machinery, and we've been real lucky with some donations. So we got given this thickness planer. It's 27 inch wide. It was made in the 1800s. It's all cast iron. And we hooked it up to a 1947 Flathead Chrysler to run it. So we've got a 90 horsepower, 27 inch thickness planer, which is great with all these huge rough cut boards we use. Hey, buddy. Hey, come here. This is a Kiva, and this is Arabella. This is our big old bandsaw, and this is where the magic happens. So uh, some of you are probably wondering how we managed to afford to do all of this, and the answer is twofold. One is that the lumber was pretty much free, uh, so that was pretty hard to beat, and that was a huge cost savings, as you can imagine. But really, the big reason is the videos that we produce every week on YouTube. Uh, so through Patreon, we've got donations that come in, and that's what really funds the project. So we like to say that we don't get paid to build the boat, we get paid to create these weekly videos that people really love and follow. Uh, if you check them out, there's over 100 videos to so go get hooked on, and if you do get hooked, uh, we ask that you please maybe consider becoming a patron and throw in a little bit of money towards keeping all of this going. And if there's some other creator that you follow that's got a Patreon account, please consider supporting them as well. Because that's how we create all of this content and keep it coming regularly is through those Patreon donations. So thank you so much. Uh, let's go in and check out some of the more nitty gritty details of the haul and see what we've been up to these last few years. So one of the first things we did early on in the build after we did the lofting was pour this big old ballast keel here. So we murdered a bunch of old fiberglass sailboats and collected wheel weights and every scrap piece of lead that we could get our mitts on. And we poured that in an old air compressor tank and poured it into a wooden mold buried in the ground right over here. And that is the ballast keel. So it was almost 100 gallons of molten lead when we poured that. It was pretty wild. Uh, the video on that is well over 2 million views. It's crazy. Uh, and then most of the hull is white oak. So the whole center line's white oak. Most of the planking is white oak. All the frames are white oak. And the vast majority of that came right here from the family farm, not 500 yards away. Had to take the stairs out so we could finish planking. Uh, so as you can see, we built this big old crazy boat house so that we could have a safe space to build the boat. And here she is, a little bit of a different perspective here from up on the second floor. Uh, Arabella's a new build, but she's going to have a bunch of old parts. So we've got a Douglas fir mast here, and we've got some beautiful mahogany panel doors. 
And those came from uh, Victoria, which was an Akin Eric. She was built in the 1920s out of a ton of bronze and Honduras mahogany, which is these beautiful frame and panel doors. We have a ton more like that. And we're reusing everything from her that was solid. Her whole center line was gone, but her interior, her spars, and her bronze were in great shape. And Alex has actually been the one that's been nursing the spar back to life. Uh, he's been putting a lot of time and energy into that, and I'll let him talk about that. So one of the cool things about this is like, we started the project uh, kind of thinking we were gonna both work on the build, but I don't have as much of the experience, so I've mostly been behind the camera. But it's been really nice to get some experience in woodworking and trying to learn all that kind of stuff and being able to share that through the videos. So all of our videos show our process and how we go about doing everything, which has been really, really exciting to, to do and to be able to um, encourage people to start projects like this, which may be daunting at first. So this has been really fun. So this is the inside of Arabella. As you can see, she's a bent frame boat. So it's built with white oak frames that are steam bent. And they are white oak uh, hanging and lodging knees. And we cut those out of oak root stocks. We actually dug the stumps out of the ground with the backhoe and carved those up. She's got white oak build stringers. She's an oak on oak on oak and fastened with homemade copper rivets. We made a rivet press that can do four at a time. So those are quarter inch square rivets holding all the planking and the build stringers in. There is diagonal bronze strapping in the hull and we have uh, silicon bronze floors that we fabricated. So every frame in the boat has its own individual bronze floor. Uh, and there are sawn locust deck beams with bronze tie rods. So needless to say, she's a little bit overbuilt. Uh, but we want to go to some pretty wild places and do some pretty wild things. So going in a heavy displacement double ender that's built like a tank will be a great adventure vehicle. So thanks for joining us on the tour. Really appreciate you coming and checking out our crazy project. And thank you so much again to Northhouse.org for inviting us to do this. Uh, we really love sharing it, so we're going to leave you guys with some parting shots of some details of Arabella so you can see a little bit more of that. And if you're interested, we'll uh, see you on Friday on YouTube. <laughs>